before we get into the news, make sure to subscribe to my first and second channels and hit the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And follow my Instagram to get notified more frequently of MMA news before it is posted on my YouTube channel, and feel free to follow my Facebook and Twitter as well. Alright, so, I'm doing something a little bit different, but, let's start off with Conor McGregor. Now, Conor McGregor has been really in the news lately. More specifically, he has held a press conference in Russia for some strange reason. And in Russia, he went to a betting firm called Perry Match. Now, Perry Match is a betting firm that has Conor McGregor as an ambassador. Now, now in this press conference with Perry Match, he would go on to announce his future fights, the stuff he wants to do with charity. Um, he would talk about Nate Diaz, Khabib, Tony Ferguson, Dustin Poirier, um, all that type of stuff, and of course his proper number twelve whiskey and strangely a reporter would ask him about his sexual allegations and all that good stuff but the main thing i want to talk about is he announced his return date to the ufc so in this conor mcgregor would say i would like to announce the public I would like to announce to the public the return of Conor McGregor will take place on January 18th in a T-Mobile arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. So my comeback fight. It is 12 weeks this Saturday. I'm in my prime physical condition. I've agreed the date with the company as far as the opponent. I have the opponent's name but for me the game I am in and from the experience if I was to give you, the people, the name which I would love to do, I know the UFC would flip it because they are a crafty company. For me, here's this one. Ask the UFC who the opponent is because I do not give a f who the opponent is, Conor McGregor said to the media. Now, after Conor McGregor put this out, Dana White got wind of it and he did confirm the date January 18th but as far as the opponent I've heard it's either Donald Cerrone or or Justin Gaethje now I said this a long time ago in one of my posts on my channel and on my computer uh, community tab um, this was around when Conor McGregor wanted to fight Frankie Edgar and I said in my post that if he was to try to fight Frankie Ed Edgar personally I don't see that as a challenge for him uh, me and Justin Gaethje are on the same page that if he were to do that I would kind of agree that that's kind of cowardly now later on Dana White did shut that down of the Frankie Edgar fight I did make a video on that because he felt Dana White himself felt the company wouldn't be able to make money off of a Frankie Edgar bout with Conor McGregor and Conor McGregor responded in the Russian uh, press conference that uh, he doesn't care about his purse or his reward. He just wants to get back in the octagon and fight. Um, he even said 
all my proceeds can go to charity it does not matter now if you're not following me on instagram you should because that's where i really um post a lot of stuff that's going on in the ufc realm but as far as the press conference where uh, conor mcgregor famously said the ufc is holding me back i did make a post on that and it seems like it was very very popular so someone commented under my post on instagram um mark or mac rams he said he feels left out because reality is sinking in ufc is a machine and you are only getting pimped and paid for your services Connor started acting like he had so much leverage and that UFC needs him. UFC has done so much great stuff without him. Quality fights consistently. His absence hasn't affected the game in any way, shape, or form. And I responded promptly. Uh, very true. Dana White, as Dana White once said, there's always another star ready, ready to be born. To replace the McGregor's, the Ronda Rousey's, um, such as Amanda Nunes and uh, Israel Adesanya. But um, personally, when uh, Conor McGregor said the UFC is holding me back, you know, I just feel personally like all he, all he just, all he wants to do is just fight you know um ufc um as mac ram said is a machine that you know it has to make money um but when conor mcgregor said that you know he wouldn't mind uh you know donating his proceeds to charity uh that really uh landed in a good place with me and I kind of uh, put him uh, back in a good uh, realm with me so in these press conferences in Russia yes it was a little weird how he how he went to Russia a place where you know the opponent who defeated him uh, was born um, and one thing, one thing, I was watching uh, Booker T's um, Hall of Fame show, and he did comment on Conor McGregor uh, and him going to Russia. And for me personally, I do agree with Booker T on how weird it was. And one interesting perspective Booker T had on his press conference in Russia is that Booker T felt Connor wasn't in the right headspace. He felt like the money Connor McGregor made in his past with um, Floyd Mayweather, uh, the hundreds of millions of dollars Connor made, uh, that kind of messed with McGregor's head and mindset, coupled with his losses. You know, his loss against Mayweather, his loss against Khabib. Um, Booker T felt he has really, or those things have really messed with Conor McGregor. And then, uh, for me, as I'm scro scrolling through Conor McGregor's feeds on Twitter, I can just see the various memes they, or his audience has made of him, um, you know symbolizing he is old news now and you can really see in these press conferences in russia that conor mcgregor is just trying to get back on top that's why when he announced his return he didn't really announce the opponent and um when i first heard his announcement I thought, okay, um, what type of a opponent are we, are we possibly going to get here? Um, is it going to be, you know, 
what an easy you know challenge for him just to just to get a win back in the game because you notice in his uh in his announcement he kind of says let me see here he says as far as the opponent i have the opponent's name but for me the game i am in and from the experience if i was to give you people the name which i would love to do i know the ufc would flip it because they are a crafty company so for me here's this one ask the ufc who the opponent is because i do not give a f i don't know but when i first heard that it, it, it sounded kind of suspicious like oh my god okay is he is he hiding you know someone that's like like easy like frankie edgar easy but later when i heard on or when i heard um donald cerrone or justin gaethje was the possible opponents um he was referring to i was like oh okay okay that's good because in my post i did mention uh if conor mcgregor was to fight uh dustin poirier justin gaethje tony ferguson uh donald cerrone cerrone that would really uh i think put him um in a good light with his audience and i think all those memes they have of him being old news um if he were to get a win over those opponents i think that would really bring up his stock in ufc um and i think that would put him in a good position to get back to uh khabib now if him if he were to lose his comeback fight that would be another video and along with that another video would be um apparently a fan um i don't know if it's really a fan but a reporter um threw a bottle at conor mcgregor in his press conference in russia i feel like that's going to be another video um and and just to roughly tease i think a, a reporter throwing a bottle at uh conor mcgregor that kind of goes back to his time conor mcgregor when he threw a bottle at nate diaz so you see how karma karma works there so i haven't did a voice recording in a while on this channel but um i heard um from the comment section below that it would be a good thing to do uh the, like i said um you may not have known but the reason why i kind of reverted to uh text-to-speech um voice for my videos it's just off of the convenience of you know how easy it is to just you know type text down and just have it uh speak back with uh my outside life um you may, you may not know but outside of youtube i'm in college getting my bachelor's degree uh i'm 23 um, trying to get into the medical field, trying to become a dietitian. Um, I'm also working in retail, and I'm also helping the community out around me, doing community service for the college, um, and from my and from my resume. And um, as far as this UFC um, channel, I have or this this media company uh it's just one of the things i always had an interest in ufc in particular mixed martial arts i've always been a fan of the sport and i'm so thankful i'm able to have somewhat of a part in it um doesn't matter how big or small it is as a fan of these fighters I get to stay up to date with everything that's going on 
and I'm so blessed. Um, so, yes. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. Um, Instagram, for me, um, is really where it's at. Twitter, you can follow as well. Facebook, I started posting on there a couple weeks ago, but I haven't as late. Facebook is one of those platforms where you have to pay money to reach people. And, you know, that's not really a problem with me. It's just I got to um, I got to set it up or do it at the right time to start, you know, going uh, or growing on that platform. Um, Instagram, I'm doing uh, good on that platform. And Twitter, it's just more so a place where I can, you know, find out what's going on with the fighters like really really in depth so Twitter's really good as well all the links are in my description um also on my community tab on my youtube channel i do have um i do try to post there of what i post on my instagram so if you're scrolling through your recommended um section or your home section on YouTube, you're gonna see my posts. You're gonna see the tweets. You're gonna you're gonna see advertisements. Um, just so you can stay up to date on what's going on. Again, thank you for listening. Um, and watch for more. <laughs>